At a time when Boeing's FA-18 Block 3 is leading the competition for 26 multi-role carrier bond fighters for the Indian Navy, Boeing has now offered to integrate Indian developed weapon packages on the FA-18, which has further strengthened Boeing's chances of winning this competition. India can integrate the RDO developed Astra series of air-to-air -air missiles, Rudram series of anti-radiation missiles and possibly the upcoming air-launched variant of long-range land attack cruise missile, and BrahMos NG that will have reduced dimension and weight. Boeing has said that the Block 3 has a reduced radar cross-section, and the designers have worked to make the Block 3 harder for enemy aircraft or surface-to-air missiles to secure a weapons-grade lock and engage the FA-18. Boeing has designed the Block 3 variant with longer range with China in mind, as the conformal fuel tanks will allow it to conduct missions against Chinese targets, while the US aircraft carriers will loiter beyond the range of China's hypersonic anti-ship missiles. Mazagin Dock Shipbuilders has released an expression of interest inviting eligible Indian firms for the joint design and manufacture of electric hybrid boat at its premises. The hull material will be made of aluminium, and the hull will be catmaran type, which means that it will be a multi-hulled watercraft featuring two parallel hulls of equal size. It will have a length of 18 meters, breadth of 5.6 meters, speed of 10 knots, and a passenger capacity of 50. The Ministry of Defense has given clearance to the DRDO to develop armed autonomous underwater vehicles that can be used for both surveillance and strike missions. Foreign-made autonomous underwater vehicles will likely be ordered by the Indian Navy in limited numbers for the short term, till indigenous capabilities are developed. Mazagin Dock Shipbuilders is developing a 40-ton extra-large unmanned undersea vehicles that will be used for mine countermeasures, anti-submarine, anti-surface and electronic warfare and strike missions. China has repeatedly stressed that the cooperation between the United States, UK and Australia on the nuclear submarine program poses a serious nuclear proliferation risk and will intensify the arms race in the region. The AUKUS deal is created only to benefit Australia, but this deal can trigger the transfer of Chinese nuclear submarine technology to Pakistan. The AUKUS deal will only fast-track Pakistan's quest to acquire true second strike capability, which is a nuclear-powered submarine and nuclear-capable submarine-launched ballistic missile. Hindustan Aeronautics has responded with its offer for 70 HTT-40 trainers that had received its airworthiness clearance certificate last week, that is currently under examination at the Air Force headquarters. HAL officials have confirmed that the first aircraft will be rolled out in 20 months from the date of contract, and the production rate will be 12 aircraft per year in the first two years, but if requested by the Indian Air Force, it can be increased to 24 aircraft per year, across two manufacturing facilities at Bangalore and Nashik. Turkish defense company Baker, that has delivered Bayraktar TB2 armed drones to Pakistan, has unveiled its first unmanned stealth fighter jet known as Kozail Elma. According to Turkish media, it is a production model of the future prototype, that will make its first flight in 2023. It is a jet-powered single-engine stealth supersonic carrier-capable unmanned combat aircraft that features an Acer radar, and will have a payload capacity of 1.5 tons, endurance of 5 hours, and a mission radius of over 900 kilometers.